So here in Camtasia 9, the question emerges, how do we make something spin? So what I'm going to do is to add something to my media bin. I've got a couple of files here. There's the car and the wheel. What I did was isolated the wheel. So I'm going to open both of those and put them in my media bin. And now I'm going to take the car. I'm going to put it in the center of my stage here. What I'm going to do ultimately is to animate this so the car will come out of nowhere, come across the screen, then disappear. But I want the car on the screen. And I'm going to take uh, the wheel and plop it on here. What I did was cut the wheel part out of the car image and made it a separate image. Now to line this up, I'm going to zoom in a whole bunch. I'm going to go to 200%. Let's just move this stuff around. I've just given focus to the wheel. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge that up. And oh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back out. And go to perhaps 50%. So you can see my car and my wheel are all together. I'm going to press Control A so they're both selected. Now when I move them around together, the wheel stays put where it should. What I'm going to do to start with is to take my car and my wheel and drag them off the stage there. Down here on my timeline, I'm going to put the playhead right about here. And I want to go to my animations. And I want to go not to the zoom and pan, to the animations tab here. And I want to choose a custom animation. Now note that on my timeline, both tracks are selected, the wheel as well as the car. So I'm going to take my custom animation, drag it down here, and drop it right there. So what I want to do now, the beginning of the animation should have it locked in where the car's off to the left here. I'm going to click once here, hold shift and click there. So both the animations, that's what this is, is the animation arrow. They're both orange now, meaning it should be recording basically the new coordinates. When we look over here to the properties panel, you can see that there's a Z, an X, and a Y, and a position. I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it straight across until the car disappears. So what should happen now is as I drag this left and right, you can see the car is going to animate from off the stage across. Now that's pretty fast. Now here's how we slow the animation down. I'm going to grab the start point for the wheel and bring it all the way across. I'm going to click on the car, and drag it all the way across. To slow it down, I'm just simply going to stretch the animation out here. That way they're not going to go across the screen quite as fast as they were. It should be a lot slower. Okay, so there's the car zipping across the screen, the wheels on top of it. I'll leave this extra for the moment. So what I'm interested in at this point is making this little hubcap or the wheel spin. So I'm going to click the animation and give it focus. And right here is what I want. Now, to make something spin, you look at your properties and you look at the rotation. And you can see here's a spinning rotation. Now, I could just grab this little guy and spin him around. And you can see that the value is changing. It's actually a negative value to make it appear that it's rotating this way. Now, we know that one full turn is 360 degrees. Let's open up the calculator application. Maybe I want it to turn for four turns. So I'm going to do 360. I'm going to multiply that by four. That's going to give me 1,440 degrees. So I want to change this value from negative 254 to be 1,000. 440 degrees. Now I want that to be a negative value, so I'm going to type a minus symbol in front of that. 
and that should set the rotation. So let's take a look now and see where we are. I'm going to animate, and sure enough, my little wheel is spinning. So if I click and drag and scrub this playhead, as I play, the little wheel is spinning on the front. And that is how you make an object spin by manipulating this rotation. Hopefully that helps you out. Thank you for watching.